As the Russia invasion of Ukraine continues, experts are gaining a better understanding of the attack. 3 News Now reporter Alyssa Curtis joins us live in the newsroom to tell us what experts are saying. UNO held a panel to discuss a number of topics regarding Russia and Ukraine, while they hit on things like sanctions, war tactics, and even history of the relationship between the two countries. The main topic was human rights. Experts are calling the Russian invasion of Ukraine devastating. Unfortunately, it is harming Russian Russian people's li lives and their um, and their livelihood as well. Um, but obviously, the, the the Ukrainians are bearing the the biggest um, brunt of 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 this attack. There have been reports of Russia targeting civilians. Experts say that's a violation of the international humanitarian law, which are expressed in the Geneva Conventions. Both Russia and Ukraine have signed and ratified the conventions, binding the countries to the laws. The two principles of international humanitarian law are the law of discrimination. To discriminate between combat forces and civilians and then only attack combat forces. War, unfortunately, always is going to lead to civilian casualties. Obviously, we have seen that already. But civilians can never be lawfully targeted during war. And the law of proportionality, which means a country must determine if the action taken outweighs the evil of an attack. Russia can't actually really achieve the goal of proportionality in this particular war because its aims are unjust in the first place. Experts say, unfortunately, the ways to deal with the targeting of civilians are minimal. Usually one of the things that um, that that promotes compliance with you know, international norms and and laws is the expectation of continued um, engagements and and being part of the global community and and wanting to um, you know to to maintain those those ties and those um, interactions. And while experts caution that as of now there's uncertainty of how worried other countries should be about the growing threat of the war, I think we need to be profoundly worried because any time humans are dying, we should be worried. Reporting in Omaha, Alyssa Curtis, 3 News Now. The United Nations International Court of Justice is set to hold hearings on Russia's military actions on March 7th and 8th. In the newsroom, Alyssa Curtis, 3 News Now.